not <laughs> not really. I'm not I'm nobody, you feel me? It's like Oh, okay, we're already live. <laughs> I'm just wondering if he did. It's a little weird. It's a little weird. I'm just a regular smartphone. I guess we're all there. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, hey, the mystical goddess. Of course. Hey, guys. I'm just going to wait for a few more people to join. This is my first live, but I'm not, it's not really my live because I'm going to let Mars take over. <laughs> He's gonna do my first live. Hey, I Terrell. Can other people? Hello. There she go. <laughs> oh, what's that supposed to be? Holloway! Hey! Oh, that's gonna be annoying. Okay. So, hey, hi, Jack. <laughs> I'm glad everybody's so happy. Happy full moon in Taurus. Mars is a Taurus. We're all so awesome, honestly. Yeah. No, for real, though, Taurus is our dope as fuck. Well. Obviously, they all rode by Venus. But anyway, we're going to talk about, do we want to call it the world? <laughs> Is it the world? The matrix? What do we want to call it? Uh, the illusion of. Yeah, it's the illusion of all that shit, really. Like, we're really just going to talk about how uh, the problem and the solution are all based off of, like, the fact that we support the illusion of the world and shit like that that you feel me we feel like there is a world okay that's a good summary right yeah I guess that's a good summary so Mars is like super intelligent I don't know another way to put that <laughs> so I'm gonna let him talk and if y'all have questions or comments Please do, because we need to come together. All kindred spirits need to come together to start something new. So at this point in time, we're looking for people to build a tribe or a village to get out of Babylon. Do we want to call it Babylon? To do really, something new. Yeah, we're just really trying to start something new, you feel me? Because that's the actual um, solution, starting something new, not trying to do nothing that's already been tried before. So, I mean, anybody who's really comfortable with exploring new things and they feel like their mind is sharp enough to be able to capture hold of information and piece it together so that, you know, others can benefit from it pretty much. Like, you know, you're not really going to be able to benefit from anything by using your talents in the system at all like at the end of, like you probably get uh let's see heating you can you have heating in the winter time you know but even like third world countries have that shit now so you're not really getting away with that shit you feel me like you it's really at a time where we are choosing between like having a mechanical world and having an actual living world, you know? Like, this technology shit is really no joke. It's like, um, we store most of our actual life inside of technology nowadays. Like, literally, you can't remember as much as your phone can. Like, physically, you can't. Like, this, your phone is an actual being at this point. It's something called... Um, cryptocurrency, 
which is the currency that technology uses in between each other. You feel me? And that just shows that, like, it's to the point to where half of you don't even actually know what's going on inside of your cell phones right now. And the fact that every day you pick this shit up, it's a habit for you. Your kids will pick this shit up and you will think it's okay. You never second guess this. But yet you call, there's so many people out there who think they're conscious you feel mm-hmm. me? And we, we're supposed to be trying to find solutions to the problems that we face every day. But instead of finding solutions, we're replacing the problems with more problems every time. And we don't have to keep doing that at all. We just have to actually realize the real problems. And that's what I'm really here to communicate with. As a person, as a being, I feel like I'm here to let people, you know... I pieced together the fucking puzzle, pretty much. And I'm not here to just, like, uh, tell you what to do. I'm actually just here to be your brother, you feel me? Just, like, assist you (laughs) so that we can go somewhere, like, and do something and, like, have fun instead of having to work your whole life. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Literally just work. There is no benefit to that. Especially if you're working for something you know nothing about. Every day you go to work, you don't know what the fuck you're working towards. Even your manager doesn't know what the fuck they're working towards. Mm -hmm. It's all just numbers, and you don't know what the fuck those numbers mean. You don't even care to figure out what those numbers mean. Like, (laughs) and that's the actual problem. There is no they, there is no blood, there is no families, there is no black versus white, there is no... um, any of that hate shit, any of that divisive shit, there is no, it's all you. It's you versus yourself, goddamn. And right now, it's literally to the point to where we are building alternative life forms and half of the world don't even fucking realize that shit. They still talk about Jesus shit, like, and they still thinking about that shit. They don't even realize that there's true robots, like real robots. Mm-hmm. That people are investing money into. You think that your phone, your iPhone was invented in the 1980s. And people invested money into that. You feel me? And now you're thinking that they just they just invest money into phones now? You, you don't think they re- invest money into these robotics? All these body parts that we know they take in. What? You think that... Okay, let me get this right. You think that all these body parts they take in, they just put it into other people? <laughs> No, they don't care about any of us. They don't scientists are fucking sociopaths. They don't they don't see the the heart, they don't see the feelings in you. They only see the the physical version of you. And that's what they're there for. That's what they're supposed to do. But they're supposed to be balanced in between that shit. You're supposed to be there to be like, okay, you can't fucking slice this shit up to see what's inside of it. But we don't do that. Because we don't have our own spacing. We don't have our own place to be in this world. We're all just like outcasts living mm-hmm. inside of an entity that we know nothing about. And we're just supporting this system, which we, we, we tell ourselves not to support that shit. Nobody's... The only way you actually have fun doing this shit is if you're fucking... Stupid. Honestly, like... <laughs> everybody... Like, everybody complains. Mm-hmm. Like, nobody's just happy every day... You know, and there's people who actually, we're supposed to be, like, if you observe animals, they are the most peaceful beings until they Mm -hmm. have to eat, of course. But even you and I, we don't have to have to eat, actually. We can control our cravings, but we don't even want to get into that right now. But we want to just talk about literally the fact that you and I are supposed to be, if we actually want to make real change, we're supposed to be moving forward on this path and not picking up old entities and picking up distractions because many of the things that we believe in nowadays, even in this conscious awakening or what people think of as the information age, that's old, outdated information. That's information that was recorded 30 and 40 and 20 years ago, back when they were already making their moves. Now they already, that shit has been in place for 30 and 40 years, the shit that they were telling you back then. It's already a system. It's already, you were already raised off of their systems. You feel me? You are the result of what they are telling you. 
There's nothing you can do about that right now. But what you can do is actually come together right now and use that information for something instead of just storing it in you and accepting it. You feel me? Like everybody, when you first see those, when you first see those couple videos that uh, make you conscious, you're like, man, that makes so much sense. That's why uh, I don't feel comfortable doing certain things, or that's why I get um, anxiety and doing certain things, or that's why that shit just don't make sense. You feel me? But over time, you're supposed to progress with the information. It's supposed to sell it into you, and you're supposed to be able to benefit from that information. You're not supposed to just keep that in you, think it to yourself, go to work every day, like hold the information down, block it out with sex and drugs, mm -hmm. and make sure that you always fucking and you always high as fuck, or you always keeping your mind inside of a fucking robot. Mm -hmm. Those are your three options. Fuck all the time, get high, or fucking be inside of a robot. Whether it's a video game, a cell phone, or a fucking any of that shit, you feel me? A computer. Your mm -hmm. literally your job is a corporation. Mm -hmm. That's a fucking entity. Literally, you go to work every day, working for somebody and a group of people, who you will never meet in your life. Mm -hmm. And you just okay, it's okay. You feel me? You saying you saying to yourself, I'm gonna just get my money up. You gotta get your money up in order to move in this society. But really. You're not really getting your money up because you're spending that shit just to be in a society. Mm -hmm. In order to be in a society, you have to literally spend the money. But there's homeless people actually living right now inside of your cities on the blocks, off of crumbs. They don't have AIDS. Homeless people don't get diseases and shit like that. That's why there's so many of those motherfuckers because they don't live the greedy lifestyle you live. They, not, they don't have the money to corrupt them. They know mm -hmm. that they can live without all this fucking, these illusions. You feel me? All they, have, all they ask for is change. You feel me? That's all they ask for from you is change, bruh. But you, what do you want? You want so much. You want all these great big fantasies. <laughs> but you don't even know what crypto... Currency is. You don't know what the fucking Federal Reserve Bank is. You don't know what fiat-based currency is or fiat-based economies are. You don't know what half of these words that white people be saying or that people you think are intelligent, they're not intelligent. They're just using cold words that you were not told about. That's the only thing. Now, the point of view, the point of view, um, not knowing these codes or not knowing basically how to live in this society is so they can take advantage of you. You see, mm -hmm. there is no point of, you see, there is no point of you living on somebody else's land. You know this is not your land. You know you don't, you know that. Everything that you eat is given to you. From It's not given to you from nature, of course. You can't, most of us don't know how to grow food or we don't have any space to grow food. It's given to you through a corporation. Most of your clothes, everything is given to you. You feel me? You don't know how to do any of that shit yourself. You are literally the property of somebody else at that point. And if they... And if you keep living that lifestyle, right now they don't have the laws to say that you're a property technically, but if they implement robots in your society or they implement technology that is just as intelligent as you because they raise your intelligence level down, then they can say that you're a property because you're the same thing as a fucking robot at that point. The, the same thing. Your human, like, the things that we're fighting for right now is human rights. The right to actually be able to be a fucking human and not have to be a fucking robot. Or you don't have to, or not have to be a fucking crazy-ass sociopath 
or see success as that. Because that's unrealistic. It's never going to happen. You and I have the ability right now to actually come together. It's not through, I don't want to just talk on here. I want to actually bond with you. I want to actually make things happen with you. Because that's the difference between me and most of the other people who want to like actually tell you their version of the truth. They just want to do that shit for their own ego or for their own money or their own currency. Like they just want money out of you. And that's the only people they're gonna. Sh that's the only people that don't. They're gonna give you that give you the truth. The only people who are gonna tell you the truth is people who they pay, people who they control. And you're thinking, okay, that person has to get money. No, they don't. They think like this. There's a bomb on the corner. They, there's a bomb living on the corner, right? Every day, all he wants is a little bit of change. But there's this guy who's telling you he's spiritual, intellectual, he loves everybody, he's smart, but yet he's, as, he's 10 times as greedy as that fucking bomb. There's nothing mm -hmm. spiritual, there's nothing intelligent about that. You're telling me that the money is destroying me, but you're literally charging me money just to get shit from you. That shows me that there, there's a fucking crazy ass offset right there. That doesn't make any sense, you feel me? You see, we're, it's like we're trapped trying to do the same thing over, you feel me? We don't have to use their money. Mm -hmm. That's the point of knowing the information about their system of money. Abraham Lincoln knew this. JFK knew this. A whole bunch of people back then knew that you could have a whole society and a whole nation making their own money. And they tried to do that shit. It's possible. But now we treat we treat it we treat money as if it's actually something that we live on like air. Money is God to people. You, know? you don't even want to <laughs> live. Think about this. Your desire, your whole desire to live is based off of money. If I take money away from you, you won't be satisfied with a little bit of change like that bomb will. And that bomb probably can use that shit for a high instead of a meal and still survive. <laughs> but you're going to use that shit for some shoes, some clothes. You're going to pay your rent, your car bill, all, all that other shit. <laughs> you need all that shit. And what do you need all that shit for? Just to have it. That doesn't make any sense. You're not doing it. You're not. See, if you, maybe if you were intelligent enough to use all that shit together and piece up your sovereignty, your freedom, so that you won't need to go to their job or that you won't. But no, you all you using the bank shit just to give it back to the bank. That doesn't. There is no purpose of doing that. You see. If you do that, that literally makes you like cattle. That's like the best thing I could kick. That's like the best analogy. Like you can carry shit back and forth from me. That's what you good for. That's all you good for your whole life is going back and forth and doing the same shit every day. Mm. And every now and again, if you can express your creativity, we'll pay you for that shit. But once somebody get paid for it, it's like the whole creativity of it goes away. That's shown in every form of creativity we have today. Movies, music, poetry, art. Whenever somebody blows up, it's like they're not the fucking same. Mm -mm. But yet every time we want them to blow up, we want them to blow up. Sometimes it's like somehow <laughs> they blow up. Why does nobody have the... Why does nobody have the heart to say no? They do, but you don't hear about those people. And that's the point. You're still looking from your, the person who's fooling you for all your information. Mm. You, they not gonna tell you about the, the superstars who were humble and stayed in the back. You feel me? Or why they wanted to stay in the background. They're not going to tell you about the the producers behind the scenes. They're not going to tell you about all the people behind the scenes because that's where all the that's where all the 
the good shit is at and the bad shit. And it's up to you to figure that out yourself. You feel me? It's not up to TMZ or none of your fucking favorite YouTube channels or ABC or any of those motherfuckers to do that shit. Because it's impossible for them to do it. It's impossible for them to do that shit. It's impossible to have a mass communication system that is perfect. Unless you, you know, got a chip in your brain or some shit. But anyway, uh, <laughs> it's literally like, we're like, literally, you can't fix the problem of human destruction while still being in this system. It's impossible. You and I know this. We know so many people, we've heard the same information. But why do we still make these same decisions? It's because the GMOs, it's because of the, air, the chemtrails, it's because they're fluoridating our water, it's because our third eyes are open, it's because of any of that shit. Who knows? But I don't know that. Me knowing that shit hasn't made any change in me until I decided to, what, to, to actually act on that shit in the way I'm trying to get across to you. You knowing all that shit hasn't done shit for you. Mm -hmm. It's nothing but junk in your mind right now. Because you haven't used it for shit, really. You sat on your ass and you accepted the shit that they were saying. You might as well have been watching fucking Oprah. There's nothing... You, if you're not going to do shit with it, fucking stop doing it. Stop paying attention to that shit. It's better to be ignorant mm -hmm. than it is to crowd your mind with nothingness. And what's nothingness? It's just shit that you can't use. Shit that you can't use. Exactly. Implementation of it. You feel me? And it's like, you can't say the word change and then say something like, uh, I want to go buy something or we got to invest in something. You feel me? Because that's the same thing. If you say the word change, you probably have to make up your whole new language just to actually make some change. And that's, mm -hmm. the, that's like some real extreme shit in your mind probably. But that's simple. They want you to think all that shit is hard. It's difficult to make a language. It's difficult to uh, start a new society. It's difficult to live without them. It's difficult to mm -hmm. live without your cell phone. It's difficult to talk to people in person without them. It's, it's dangerous out there in the world. In all these other countries, it's so dangerous because their government is just so damn corrupt. You feel me? But what the fuck? It's the same shit here, nigga. It's the same shit here. You feel me? Everything. Everything here is... I can say that everything here is worse because it's hidden behind the, behind, uh, behind the veil. You feel me? Every other country is, is mainstream. They actually have a real press. They actually have all the other shit because they have camaraderie. Mm -hmm. We don't have any camaraderie. The whole country is split apart in different sectors of beliefs, lifestyles, understandings, education. All this other shit is just fucking piled inside of one landmass. From London, hey. <laughs> Even in, I mean, and that's the case in many of the Western countries. They just put completely opposing mind states and put them in one box. The box isn't even real. You see, it's like an elephant when it's a baby. They told you when you was a child, um, these are states. We're going to draw these lines for them. And then they show you that shit. They show you that state. This is the state you in right now. This is the country you in. And this is the earth right here. And you're going to stay in this little circle right here. This is where you at. <laughs> And we actually, you go for that shit because it's fun back then, but now you're an adult, you feel me? You're supposed to be understanding shit on a new level. You're supposed to be maturing. And you, you can't believe in simple shit like that. There are, there are no lines on the earth. All that shit is in your mind, bro. And the fact that you were actually, you know this is reality, but you want, if I say to somebody, hey, bro, uh, you know that there is no states in reality, they're going to be like, no, nah, that don't make no sense. There are states. What you mean there are no states? You see, 
it's like you won't even try to accept actual reality because you have nothing but the bullshit you've been taught throughout your whole life. You see? You have to abandon all that shit. Mm -hmm. They make us scared of being ignorant. What is ignorance, bruh? Who the fuck do you think you are? What do you know? You don't know shit. You're ignorant right now. And I promise you that shit. You don't know shit. You feel me? You don't know shit. So, now the fact that you know that you don't know shit, why are you still holding on to all the bullshit in your fucking head? It's not helping you right now. If you, don't, if you know you don't know shit, take all that shit out and start the fuck over. Mm -hmm. You already ignorant. What the fuck else can you do? You gonna stay ignorant and keep all that bullshit in your mind? Mm -hmm. <laughs> shit, it's okay to be brainwashed sometimes. It's just that literally you have to brainwash yourself. Wash that shit out, bruh. Like, it's okay to be blank-minded. You're not crazy if you're blank-minded, you feel me? Just because you're not crazy if you do anything, really. It's all about understanding. You're ignorant, you feel me? Only a crazy person, only a stupid, ignorant person would call somebody crazy or diagnose somebody with a mental illness. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Half of the shit they tell us doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. it, it just floats past your mind, though. But if I say something to you like, hey, bro, man, we need to go blow up the fucking uh, White House. What's that going to solve? They ain't going to do nothing to start a whole bunch of havoc and chaos. They ain't going to do shit, blah, 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 blah. And we see all these people who we call crazy and ignorant on the news. You feel me? At least they doing something with their fucking life, bro. What are you doing with your life? What are you doing? Are you doing something that somebody else already did? And if, if you are, that's okay. That's completely fine. Okay? That's completely fine if you doing something that somebody else did. But if you're doing that shit, the point of doing that is to be better, bruh. If you're Pan-Africans, you're supposed to be a better Pan-Africans than fucking Marx Garvey. If that's the, if that's the peak for Pan-Africanism, you're supposed to be above that nigga by now. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to be above Elijah Muhammad. You're supposed to be above anybody you fucking believe in. You're supposed to be above God. If you believe in God, the point is not to fucking just sit right there and be like, God, you right. Like, yeah, God, <laughs> everything you're saying is right. Yeah, God, I don't want to question that you're saying, God. You feel me? That's, that's not what he wants you to do. He, if you questioning him, that means he wants you to fucking question him. He made you. Or she made you. Or whatever the fuck you want to fucking be comfortable with in your mind. Stop settling. Yeah. Exactly. There is no... Like, literally, the fact that you're settling means that you are... It means that you have infinite fucking knowledge, but you don't want to act on that shit. Mm -hmm. It's all about being comfortable. You got to be comfortable with yourself. You got to know how to be yourself. And when people say how to be yourself, they're not talking about on a fucking mental level. That's that ego kicking into you. They're not saying learn how to be yourself. That's a cult. When they, they put that shit out there so much and people just I think I really put they I really think they put that phrase out there like be yourself and all the other shits just to wash the phrase down to what they have the meaning of it now to be, which is just uh, your ego, like find your own way of being a human. That's not what being yourself. Learn how to be yourself, meaning literally learn how to be a fucking human. Like learn how your body works, mm -hmm. not just with yoga. Fuck yoga. Do some new shit, nigga. <laughs> Do some new shit. The people who were doing yoga was doing some new shit. You feel me? Like, they wanted you to do some new shit. You know, learn your body on new levels. You feel me? Connect to yourself on a new level because every day the universe changes. 
You feel me? But you have this amazing ability to connect the changes together. You have this amazing ability. And you see so many beautiful things throughout your life. But the way that you have been taught to live is literally blocking you from seeing that those things are beautiful. Even if you are, even if you see them as beauty, you don't know how to treat beauty. You would never been taught how to treat a person. Because you don't know what a person actually is. You feel me? You gotta, and that's, in order to actually go on a journey of self, you know, self-understanding and to, ra to raise your kundalini, it's all about letting go of greed. Letting go, really. Just letting go. You feel me? You can't, you can't go nowhere if you got all this shit holding you down. Why are, the fear to let the fear of hey how you doing? <laughs> Hi. The fear of you letting all of your stress go, all of the troubles go in your mind, all of the shit that you think is going wrong, like how they spiking your food, how they attacking your air, how they attacking your water, how they attacking your all these things. You feel me? You feel me? They don't tell you how they're doing it. They just tell you they're attacking that shit. Okay, I don't want you telling me, I don't want you telling me they doing that shit until you can tell me how they doing that shit. Because that means you're fucking speculating at that point. If you can't tell me how they doing it, don't tell me that they're doing it. And if you can't tell me who they are, don't tell me it's a they. You see, those are all tricks. Who are they? Who are, they? <laughs> who are the people doing this to us? Who are they? People Is it a, the families? The uh, white people doing it to us, or is it reptilians or aliens, or is it the government or the CIA? Fuck all that. Those are all illusions, bruh. Those are all illusions. You feel me? In reality, not even on a like on a on a fucking everyday physical plane. There is no such thing as a government. All these are constitutions and institutions that we support every day with our own physical energy just to make happen. Mm -hmm. You feel me? We are, we, are, we are driving this thing. Those people don't even have anything to do with the fuck we... I mean, the people who you think is like controlling shit, they were born into the same world that you were born into. All the mess and all the shit that you were born into, all the chaos, all the idiocracy, all the, all that shit. They were born into that same idiocracy. And if you don't think that, that means that you think these people are God, pretty much. Or, the, like, literally the, the scene behind the forest doing all the bad and making all the chaos go on. You think they are the superior power to you. You think they're God. You don't even want to figure out who they is, just like God. You can't figure out who the fuck they are, just like God. But until you accept the fact that these people are nothing but humans, mm -hmm. they are humans just like you and I. They breathe the same that we do. They might do a couple other weird things. They might try a couple other weird things. But there's a lot of people who do weird shit. Yo, like, literally, there's people in China who eat fucking dogs, cats. They eat reptilians, and they think that shit is good for them. Those are just you know, happenings, but they are humans just like you and I. That means that they can't do anything that you can't do, and that's the fucking key. That's the whole loop around. They won't, don't want you to realize. You feel me? The they literally want you to stay focused on them. Mm -hmm. It's them, like, oh, yeah, but you don't know who the fuck they are. Your heart to go up every time someone hit the heart. <laughs> if you can, if you can uh, blame the devil on all your problems, then you can blame they, mm -hmm. or you can blame the government. It's the same shit. You feel me? If that means that, basically, the the system that you focus most of your attention on living in is the reality that you're going to fucking experience. So if you say, if I, if I really 
if I really do study and look around and look at all the facts and reality and I see that there is no fucking such thing as a government. Even if you go in all these official buildings, you see nothing but citizens working at these motherfuckers. Most of the time, you don't even see all the people who you think are fucking in control. You feel me? You don't see them. You don't know they exist. So that means they don't exist, really. <laughs> you feel me? That means you can go up to a post officer and fucking, hey, I mean, I'm not saying this is going to work. You can go up to a post officer and say, hey, bro, you know, you don't have to shoot me. Right? But I can still take this Kit Kat out this store. And wait, and... He probably still going to shoot you. He probably still going to shoot me. <laughs> but the thing that they're taking away from us is our, our desire to want to say that shit. Mm -hmm. We scared. We scared, <laughs> y'all. We scared of the boogeyman. Mm -hmm. We scared of the fucking boogeyman. He under the bed. You don't know when the fuck he going to come out. You don't know when he going to drop a bomb on your ass. You don't know when that and never going to happen again. You don't know when all this shit going to happen again. Mm -hmm. But your ass still fucking in the same place where it happening, where it mm -hmm. happened, and you still in the place where it was set up to happen, and you still doing the same shit that you were doing to make it happen. Mm -hmm. That's the only reason they can do all that shit to you, because you still doing the same shit you did when they wanted to do it before. It's about change, bruh. Major fucking change. The longer you stay here, it's the harder it's going to be to live, leave. And that's been proven since the fucking country started. Yeah. So what do we have to do? You feel me? What do we have to do in order to actually come together and, you know, make these changes? I feel like we have to figure out the real problems and talk about them to each other. The real, real problems. You feel me? Not just the spirituality bullshit that we've been spoon-fed this whole time mm -hmm. over the last couple of years to block the real deal knowledge that people are, your everyday brothers and sisters are releasing. You feel me? The people that you don't want to trust. People that you feel like you can't trust because they're not on a TV screen or they're not <laughs> on your fucking a popular channel or they're not on a popular page. You feel like, oh, they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Mm -hmm. They didn't read enough books or they didn't go through something like you, that means that you support the, the, uh, the secrecy of information. You're supporting that shit if you keep goddamn supporting the people who are hiding the information. Or lying about the information. Just to benefit in the system. Mm -hmm. That means they are the same position as you. They have no hope. They have no life. They see no ambition in real life. That means that they feel like they already are truly enslaved and that they just going to move around like a slave. They're going to be the best slave they can be. You feel me? It's no different from what you're doing right now. So what are the changes we got to make? We got to fucking leave this country. We got to stop believing in everything this country taught us, even about the fact that this is a country because it's not a fucking country. We got to leave this land that was fucking a slaughtering ground mm -hmm. and stop trying to claim it as ours like the white people do or that the Europeans do. You feel me? We blame them for everything, but we're still here supporting what they started. That doesn't make any sense completely. The people who you elect to be in power and who you elect to give you information when you, uh, when you give them the power, what do they do? They stay here. They tell you to stay here. They make you do shit to make you stay here. You got to stop supporting them, obviously, right? <laughs> like, we can't keep supporting any of these people. You can't keep supporting the same habits that you have either. You got to make major changes in your habits. You feel me? And there's no judge for what's a bad or a good habit. You just got to make change. Shake shit up in any way you fucking possibly can. Be spontaneous in any way you can. Do 
the most craziest shit possible in the middle of nowhere. Because if you don't, everybody's going to become a fucking robot. Mm -hmm. Everybody's going to become fucking numb to everything and just focus on the fucking status quo. And it's already like that. It's already. It's already fucking like that, really. Zombies. Really, it's already like that. Like, everything you fear is already here. It's in your face already. Mm -hmm. You your own worst enemy. And that's the simplest. If I'm my own worst enemy, I would, I would, I'm gonna be like, damn, that's a, that's easy. I know how to get rid of uh, me. I'm gonna just tell myself to turn the fuck chill. You feel me? I'm gonna be like, chill, nigga. Why can't you tell yourself to chill? Say, hey, man, I don't want to believe in uh, any of this fuckery. Mm -mm. Why can't you tell yourself I don't want to live in this country? Why can't you tell yourself I want to? Actually meet people who have intelligence. Why can't you tell yourself the shit that you believe in, the shit that you want to do, the shit that you want to make happen? Why can't you tell yourself that that's a possibility and go out there and chase that? Not in the way that you, not in the way that they show you it should be, but the way that it's happening as you do it. Accept life in the everyday moment. Don't try to force shit that's not there. And that's the problem. We're, we're so greedy that we don't want to actually sacrifice anything at all. It's all about me. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Give me this. I want that. You don't want to give shit. The only time you give, if, if, if that's a law in this country. It's an unsaid law in this country. It's the only time you give is if you want something back. <laughs> that's the only time you give. Other than that, don't give nobody shit. And that's completely against the laws of nature. That's completely against the laws of, the laws of nature. The laws of nature are about, are about abundance. Everything is in abundance. You're not supposed to be hoarding shit in. Because if you do that, you won't, get, you won't be able to have new things. But we're hoarding all this shit in. We're so greedy. We want to take everything in because we feel like we got to have it all. Mm -hmm. It's never enough. And you know why it's never enough? Because you're not doing it for you. You're actually doing it for somebody else. It's never enough because you never got anything in the first place. Full moon vibes, full moon and Taurus. You never got anything in the first place, brother and sister. And you will never have anything. That's why you always, that's why you're so fucking greedy. Because you never had anything. You never had nutrition. You never had a true family life. You never experienced true, half of us haven't experienced true love. Not even just being in love, knowing what love feels like. But knowing what it feels like to be a human and be allowed to be a real animal. You are a fucking animal. You know that, right? You remember that? You are animal, right? You're not just this superior being that don't fuck up and you just perfect and you just got to look all good all the time. You got to mm -hmm. have food in your stomach. You got to be alive. Who the fuck told you you got to be alive, nigga? You are, what are you doing for the, what are you doing that's so important? And that's the truth, you feel me? That's how these people who you say are in power are looking at you, but that's how a regular human being looks at you too. Because that's how they're supposed to look at you. What the fuck are you doing for the earth? Now, if the people who are actually can, like making shit, they are actually uh, creating all the systems we're using. they actually putting all the technology in your hand. The people who do that, if they see you as worthlessness, and you see your brother and sister as worthlessness, but if he say to you, hey, you worthless, you're going to say, oh, that's fucked up. He, he evil. He trying to kill me. He trying to destroy me. You feel me? That's not what's happening. You're giving him the power to say that shit. And you're agreeing with him, too, because that's true. You're not doing shit for the human race right now. You're not doing shit for nobody. You're not doing shit for any... You're not doing shit for Jesus. You're not doing shit for <laughs> any prophet. You're not doing shit for... Any country, you're not doing shit for yourself, you're not doing shit for your family, you're destroying all of that as we speak mm. with your habits and your comfortability to be in this fucked up ass land. What your, what your attention is able to stay focused on is the true energy that's inside of you. Some people can only pay attention to consciousness long enough to get an ego stroke. Mm -hmm. 
The same way that some people can only fuck a girl or fuck they mate, and then after that, they don't have anything to do with it. But some people like staying around the fucking consciousness to learn more, not to just get a little ego stroke or to see something that somebody else and everybody else in the world is seeing just to stay fucking hip. Because you get an ego strip from, stroke from that. Consciousness is actually an industry now. It's trendy. It's trendy. And it's, knowledge has been a fucking industry since they started the printing press, really. And it's the same way now. Knowledge is an industry. It's something that investors invest in. People that have money had to fucking invest in the printing press. So that the books that you read can be made. And if they don't do that, then you won't fucking read. You won't have any of the information you you have right now. You feel me? Now, why do they have to? Why do they have to keep printing books if they got a computer, and they can just store all the information in a computer? Why do they have to do that anymore? Especially if you don't read. They don't have to do that shit anymore. And those are the people who you gave your power to because you want a cell phone and you're going to pay for that cell phone because the system that you believe in says that you have to pay for that cell phone. That means that you got to give away some of your energy to this other nigga just for you to have that phone. Mm -hmm. And you saying that's in your mind, you think that's you think that's fair. You think it's fair that if, if I invent something as a human being, that I could be selfish with that shit and say, nope, I'm going to keep it behind my back. Ha ha. Mm -hmm, you can't have this. Nope. Oh, you know what? If you want this, you got to go fucking pick my cotton for a week. You think that's fair. You think that's moral. You think that's sane. That's crazy. Nobody should, have the, nobody should be in the mind state as a human to even want to do something like that. But not alone the fact that we just accept that. Not alone with the fact that we just accept the, uh, the bullshit. <laughs> you also let that shit build up over time. Mm -hmm. But as that shit builds up over time, you start to be more and more entrapped inside of what it is. And you don't really know what it is. Yeah, you don't really, you can't define how fucked up your life is right now because you're still looking at it from the inside of it. Now, if you go to China and read their magazines, or if you go to another country and read their magazine about what's happening here and their perspective of it, and another human being, because these are humans, these are your brothers and sisters, you should respect their opinions, but you don't. You only respect, you only respect your culture's opinion. You've mm -hmm. only, your morals only have taught you to only respect your culture's opinion. Because everybody else is stupid and wrong. But you're supposed to be conscious, though. You're supposed to be living a spiritual yeah, life. But that's not the case if you mm -hmm. can't respect somebody else's information. But anyway, if, if, like, you won't fully understand how tragic everything that's happening in this country is or how tragic everything uh, that you've been through is until you, get from, until you go to another country and see... The, uh, the things that are going on from a completely different perspective and see how different everything else in the world is. Uh, but we don't have the ability to do that, you feel me? We, can, we, we brag so much in this country about how, or we don't, I'm not a part of this country. In this country, people on this land, people brag about how great this land is and how free it is. But we didn't, when we had the ability to use all our freedoms and rights and to think like a human, we didn't use that shit right. And slowly but surely, they sucked that shit away from us. And now, we don't have any freedoms and rights at all, according to the system that we still support. So why keep supporting that system? There is no hope for that shit. There is no hope for what you're doing right now. And some people would say that's negative. I can like no matter if you come to me and say I want to start my own business, I want to start a religion, I want to start, uh, I want to learn about this or I want to figure out the right diet. Like all that shit is really minor. As a race, we need to be able to. I mean, as a beings, we need to be able to focus on what's important to us. 
main subjects come together on that and say, okay, as, as the human race, we don't think that we should live this way because it's going to lead to us being extinct. Mm -hmm. We have lost that ability to do that. Completely. You don't, you don't truly have the ability to even communicate with people in your family. Mm -hmm. Like, that's, that's the main reason, the reason that, I mean, the, the, the point that you can't really, you don't really know how to communicate, or you don't know what the perspective, what a perspective is like outside of this zoo or outside of this cage you've been raised up in, or these boxes and these rooms and the same things every day. We don't even crave to get outside of these things. Half of the population doesn't. They want to stay inside of these things. They're caught up in these things. But there are groups of people out there that actually in this country and actually around the world who live completely different from this shit. They can't even imagine the lifestyle we live. Mm -hmm. And it's because it's idiotic. It's idiotic. It has no purpose. It, if you leave the country, it has no value. That's how you know something is stupid. It has, if you know something is worthless, if you leave the country, there's, on, there's not too many countries in the whole, on the whole planet, or there's not many lands, there's not much land on this planet where people live that actually speak English. You can't communicate with most of the world because you speak English. And if you know how to speak other language, that's great. But... Most people only know how to speak English, not to mention the way that you eat. You see, other countries don't have the luxury of being able to eat whenever the fuck they want to. Mm -hmm. They actually have to preserve their food. <gasps> what? We can't. You got to preserve your food. Mm -hmm. You feel me? You're not even used to doing that. In other countries, they have traditions they pass down just to maintain the lifestyle. In this country, we don't have anything like that. It's all about trends. There is no value in that because after the trend dies out, it's dead. It has no, it isn't, it's not going to sustain itself. It's not going to sustain itself. The ideologies that you have are not going to sustain themselves. You will see that as time goes on, as nature moves along, as you test your ideologies out against nature to see if they actually match with nature, that they were all lies. Most of them are all lies. Things that you know are lies most of the time, like races. Races don't exist. Those are all institutional thoughts that we agree on in order to exchange information. Something we're supposed to be using for positivity to build upon. But if you actually building upon something, that means that every year you're supposed to have a new word in a dictionary. And there are new words in a dictionary every year. But you don't learn those motherfuckers. <laughs> you don't know shit about length. You don't know shit about the actual way people outside of this country think. And yet this country is mixing in with other races and cultures faster than ever. And they telling you something. They're telling you that. They're trying to close down the borders, everybody. Everybody thinks that they're trying to close down the borders. No, they're opening up the borders. They don't care about you. They don't care about you or your family. They want money. If you're not going to work, if you're conscious, if you're work, and if you don't want to go to their corporations who own all the land that you're living on, then they don't care about you. They want you gone. They're going to make the lifestyle here Literally, you have to live how they live. And if you don't, leave. And that's what we need to do. And if not, you're going to become the people who you think are bad. You're going to become that. Your children will become that slowly every generation. Even if you teach them everything that you know 
even if you try your best to keep them away from it, they will still be attacked. They will still be the people who you think. <laughs> we come to Hawaii. <laughs> we coming anyway. You already know. <laughs> they will still, in some way, be a part of you, just like they are now. And you're supposed to experience all the things that you're experiencing and have a revelation about that shit so that you can tell the world about it. You can travel the whole world and tell the rest of the world, hey, man, that shit I experienced on that land in America, that shit was crazy, man. Like, I really thought that it was healthy to eat cow titties. I thought, and then, <laughs> wait, you think it's, wait, you telling me, you think, you go to other countries, you see that they believe the same shit you believe, and you know it's fucked up. They don't know that shit yet. They need you because you've been there and done that, and they know you've been there and done that. But if you don't go to the other parts of the country, if you only want to be here and then eventually become your enemy and don't go to the rest of the world and tell them what the fuck going on and, you know, build upon that, then you're going to become a fucking robot. And I mean that in, I mean that in the most physical term possible, y'all. Y'all got to keep up with technology. Y'all got to keep up with the shit that actually matters. Not the news about Tyrese or his fucking drama. <laughs> <laughs> Literally look up shit like what the fuck these scientists are investing their money in. Mm. What they're going what why they're investing their money in that stuff. You feel me? The shit that you think is boring. I can't talk to half of my friends about the shit that I know because they don't care to look at. They don't care to even research that shit. You feel me? And it's not I don't blame them because why trust half of this shit? But it's the fact that they want you to stop trying and caring about everything. And that's what a robot does. Mm -hmm. They want you to be over-consumed with information. They want you to think so much that you, you be like, man, I got to stop thinking. And the only way you would do that is if you don't know how the human body is supposed to act and think. The only way you, the only way you would overeat and be greedy is if you, if you don't know how much the human body needs. Or that it doesn't need anything, really. It has everything it needs. Mm -hmm. Like, all these disciplines have been destroyed through the facilities that our ancestors created to maintain them. Whether they were misinterpreted to be bad over time or not. They were still there to keep those guidelines of our reality in check. But all those have been destroyed now. The, the morality of religion, the morality of sexuality, the morality, I mean, the, the reality of technology, the reality of your genetics, your, the reality of all those things have been destroyed because you are supporting a system that doesn't want to maintain them. Damn, they get your time limit on live. Yeah. <laughs> this shit ain't free. Damn. They want you to pay for that shit probably. Or they already know they're going to start making people pay, but... To go live? Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it was... It was... A very great experience being able to be on Holly's uh, Instagram today. I know that I probably talked people's ears off. But I really hope that you get the message and... You know, that somehow we can connect with each other so that we can actually make these moves in order to go around the world and talk to other people and be able to challenge ourselves to learn new languages and learn and challenge ourselves to grow as humans overall and not just be stagnant with the information that you have to completely change your mind state to see that you're not supposed to be stagnant with information, you're supposed to grow on it. There's no point of you learning anything if you're not trying to take that and build upon it. Give me your Instagram real quick. Well, you can uh, reach my information, and if you want to, like, hit me up, you can hit me up at Soja Media. It's uh, X, X O L J I dot M E D I A. Like that. And he has the YouTube. Also, but happy full moon! Happy everybody. full moon and lighting Taurus. candles and dancing under the moon and manifesting. Happy I'm full to moon! Get to it. Peace, guys. Ouch. Oh, I need to <laughs>
<laughs> Scratch. 